No requirements, mate. I don't take vitamin C. Nobody does. As long as you're not ingesting sugar, you don't need vitamin C. Vitamin C only becomes a requirement if you're ingesting sugar. You know, And even then, it's a questionable. Let's put it this way. Napoleon's soldiers had scurvy. He slaughtered a whole lot of, and these people were on a mixed diet to some extent. They were still eating some carbohydrates. He slaughtered a whole lot of horses, fed them horse meat, and cured their scurvy. Got it? So meat's got plenty of vitamin C. Just because they don't measure it, you, f- you know, not a problem. And as long as you don't need a lot of kibble, carbohydrates to block the GLUT receptor, GLUT4, to compete with um, vitamin C. That's the only time you, you know, people that are, who are the people that are basically getting scurvy-like symptoms or connective tissue issues or stuff like that? Diabetics. What are they doing? Engaging the Randall cycle and consuming excess sugar, which means that receptor sites are downregulated. That means forget about trying to absorb um, enough glucose that's circulating in their bloodstream. They can't get it into the cells. But what else? The same receptor site is using vitamin C because vitamin C can be produced from glucose in certain species. So it's using the same receptor site. It's just, you know. So don't you think that would be an issue? So it doesn't matter how much you take, all you'll do is just turn into oxalate excess amounts. Not required. You just need to keep the sugar down in the body so you're not engaging in the Randall cycle and you're not blocking the uptake. So you need very little, let alone why do you need it? For hydroxyproline, hydroxy um, lysine. Well, when you eat an animal-based diet, you actually get those aminos. So do you, if you're eating them, do you need to make as much? Not really. So that's why, and there are other second, other pathways that also, and other nutrients that also play a role in collagen synthesis. So, I mean, the, the requirement goes dramatically down on a carnivore diet, dramatically to very low levels. If Napoleon with just horse meat can cure people on that are consuming one third kibble and two thirds animal foods, can, can cure it on a pure carnivore diet, it's a non issue. That's why the Inuit, the Maasai, people like that don't have the problem, the Hudza and whatever else. They don't know that they're popping vitamin C pills. It's only modern people that have deranged their systems and actually are consuming excess sugar. Probably the only ones, even though they're very catabolic and it's very damaging to their body long term, the only ones that probably get enough are the vegans, the fruitarians, because from the fruit. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? But they don't get the other stuff, the other amino acids and the protein deficient, and so it doesn't really help them anyway. <laughs> so they, they're getting something which they need to, you know, they're not getting enough essential amino acids, so it's useless to them anyway. <laughs> oh, it is funny. Oh, the modern, the modern population, the way they think, it never ceases to amaze me and surprise me.